Okay, so I'm going to pick right back up in this segment uh, in the S2 member general options panel. And uh, just to let you know, again, I'm in an installation here of WordPress 3.1, and at the time of this video, uh, we're using S2 member version 3.5.7. And uh, oh, the reason you see all of these options here is because I also have S2 member Pro installed. Okay, but what we're talking about now here is available in all versions of S2 member, including the free version. That is the general options panel. Okay, so I'm going to scroll right down here. This is the page you'll come to. And uh, toward the bottom here, you'll see there's a panel called URI Restrictions. Okay, and I want to talk a little bit about this here and how it relates to the topic that we discussed in the previous section of this video re related to the front page of your site and the static post page of your site. Okay, so let's expand this down. The first thing I should probably explain is what a URI is. Okay, so I'm going to copy this here. This is a URL, and everybody knows what a URL is. Okay, oh, I've already done it here. I forgot. All right, so let me just take this out and paste it right in. All right, so this is a URL. URL always starts with HTTP, uh, sometimes HTTPS for a, an SSL-enabled site. Okay, a URI is just this portion of the URL. Okay, so in other words, if I break this down into two different lines, this is this whole thing together is the URL, but this part is the URI. So it's just a path to the file, and it always starts with a leading slash. Okay, so a, the minimum URI is never empty. It's always just a single slash. Okay, so understanding that now, let's go back and take a look at S2 Member's URI restrictions panel. You'll see here S2 Member makes it possible to protect URIs broken down by separate levels of membership. And it, up here in the details, it also states that it also will, will detect word fragments found anywhere in the URI. So in other words, I don't actually have to match up exact URIs here. All I, can, all I have to do is just put in the word fragments that may appear. So just to give you a demonstration, if I was to put in just path, then that would be more than enough to protect a URI that, was, that contained this, path to file. So putting path here would protect file.php because this word fragment is found in this URI. Okay, so you can see this is very powerful because it allows you to protect a lot of different variations of URLs on your site all at once. Okay, now understanding this, we can see that this type of protection is not subject to the, the quirkiness that I was mentioning in the, in the previous segment related to the way uh, WordPress conditional functions and template tags respond back. So this would be a way to bypass some of those potential issues is to use URI protections. Okay, that, that's one example. Now there's also a little known trick here. Understanding that a word fragment found in a URI will protect all URIs containing that word fragment. We can see that if I put in just a single slash here, what is going to happen? What's going to happen is that this is going to tell S2 member to protect every URI on the site. In other words, every single page on your site is now protected by S2 member because every URL on your site is going to have a slash in its URI. Okay, so the, the, the side effect of doing it this way, the little trick here, is that that one single slash will guard your entire site, making page, post, tag, category, even alternative view protection, making all of that obsolete. So if you're just looking to lock down your whole site, okay, this is how you would do that. Okay? And in fact, in the current version of S2 member, this is the only way that the front page of the site can be protected at this time. Now, we're probably going to work on that in the future, but at this time, if you're looking to lock down even the front page of your site and make it not available to the public, then this would be the only way to accomplish that is by just telling S2 member that you want the entire site to be locked down with this single slash. Okay, now there's one important thing to note, one other important thing to note regarding this little trick. S2 member will never, under any circumstances, allow the membership options page to be protected. Even if you're using that little trick, S2 member will never allow this page. This is page is always publicly available. Okay, why is that? Well, in the case here that we just looked at, if you lock down the entire site, and you require membership access to the entire site, but then your membership options page is not even available, then obviously no one's going to even be able to sign up. 
So the signup page is always made available to the public, regardless of your configuration of S2 member. Okay, so I'm going to pick up in the next segment of this video, which will be the last segment of this video, and we're going to discuss alternative view protection and how this can be used to uh, allow you to bypass the uh, uh, archive views. Or I shouldn't say bypass. What I should say is this will allow you to lock down archive views such as the list of posts on your front page, uh, category views, author views, tag views, things like that. So we'll pick up on this in the very next segment.